Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Curiosity Unlimited and today I have a TV unit that I am going to unbox and install. So in my last video I have shown that I have taken a OnePlus TV and I have unboxed and installed the TV and I have shown you the first looks. So now in this video I am going to uh, install the TV unit. So basically there are two sections to it, one is the bottom section and one is the top section on top of the TV. So let's check it out, let's unbox it and then install uh, the TV unit. And if you uh, consider supporting me then please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell icon. Also if you like watching the video please give a like. Okay, so this is the only uh, thing in the package. Now let's go ahead and remove everything. So the company is Bluewood, and uh, the product name is Kunsa Set Box TV Shelf. This is the um, user manual and assembly instructions. Yes, it takes what it say it takes 30 minutes approx for installation recommended 2% 4 kg max weight and useful hints before you start okay these are all the items which are available in the uh, package and uh, these are the tools which are not included which is required okay these are the installation steps wall installation there's the pit so many drill holes we need to make uh, there's so many holes we need to drill okay what else is in it what is this oh. wall hole marking guide kunsa sttv unit and shelf part 2 and part 4 Part one. Okay, so this is how we have to stick this on the wall, and the basis that we have to drill the holes like here, then here, 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 and here. Okay. Now let's check what else is there. Okay, so these are some long fasteners screws that we need to put in the wall and it then gets connected to the unit we have some small things like there are screwdrivers this is there are screws rather this is the kind of sticker which i guess will be put upon that this is a some holder let's see okay let's check what's in it number three so this thing I guess it's the same one as that which is in the package let me show you this thing It says here number one and uh, there's a section here like a semicircle. These are the places where that like, fasteners will go. These are the screw holes. Okay. What is this? Okay, this is number two. and this is number 4 this one I think it's tape mark it's glue I think you can just wash it with water 
it's a wooden uh, piece looks sturdy okay let's check what else is in the box so there is nothing else in the box the box is empty so i think these are the only things that we require for uh, the installation of the unit okay so there is one more thing that i liked about this unit on especially on this number 1 uh wooden board you can see that there is a branding here which feels like a nice uh, embossing in silver shines that is looking really great wow nice okay so that's uh, all for unboxing now um, i'll i mean you can see right now how it will look when it's connected on the wall so i'll install it uh, and uh, once the installation is done i'll show you how it is looking with my tv so let's go ahead and connect i'll not show the whole uh, installation steps because it's it will take some time and uh, it's just basically drilling and uh, connecting so drilling part i'll skip but i'll show the connection uh, connecting part of all the wooden boards to make sure that you know it looks like it's in the picture right now yeah. okay so i have here pieces number 1 2 and 3 okay and i'll go i'm going to connect it first and see you know uh, have it uh, is fitting so i'll have a some structure something like this okay that's uh, one two and three and then this is fourth which is completely individual piece that needs to be connected so let's go ahead and start connecting pieces one two and three first this is how we have to connect it okay so this is an assembled view this is a blown up view and here uh, there are some steps which exactly show you how to connect those pieces so there are five steps to connect pieces one two and three so let's go go ahead and do that first So as per this instruction, we first have to connect pieces two and three like this. Okay, so I'll you know go ahead and do that first. I'll keep piece one aside. Okay. Now I already have this inserted here. I have to insert it here. Okay. So do it like this. Okay. Now it sits there. which will ease us for screwing like in this part we can see that we have to screw the pieces now so let's go ahead and do that so these are the two screws that will be connected so i'm just tilt it here and we have to align the screws to the holes given here and here and it will connect it here and now this piece is not moving so the screws have you know at least touched that piece we just have to now get it inside so i'm going to try using a screw driver first if it takes a longer time or if it's inconvenient to do i may use a drill just change the angle okay okay it's quite easy to do You know, don't tighten the first screw always because you have to make sure the alignment is right. So, tighten both screws a bit by bit, and then in the end we may tighten the screws completely. it's really they're getting difficult to put it inside
much then it's not getting any tight anymore so you can see that you have connected these two screws now it can sit nicely here yep it's stable and now we have these three holes that will you know uh, help us to connect with the first piece so now I'll check let's check how to do it Okay, so it's showing that we have to insert hardware DB40 and MFB44 into board 1. Okay, like this. So let's check what is DB40. This is DB40. Okay, it's the same thing that we connected uh, in the middle for 3 and 2. And then what are the other things? That's MFB44, which is a mini flex bolt. Okay, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so this is a db40 dowel and uh, these are the kind of screws which is mini flex bolt okay so now we'll connect uh, piece number one with this here all right okay so now let's connect this first into third uh, board i may need to use a hammer for this okay we have to put these two bolts in as well okay. this just goes in like this you don't have to screw it from here there is a different way to do it let me show you so now we'll put this board on top It's a bit flimsy but it has mentioned there in the manual that it may get it like that okay so now let's connect the screws I've just kept the drill there for support because it is you know bending down so now it says in the manual that we have to use something like this okay now what is this it's a MFH 13 into board 1 and 3 so it goes into the holes here and this is how it may get connected so let's try doing that taking it a bit down so that it will be visible have to sit down for it okay so you see here the holes here and here is where we have to connect this kind of screws okay so now let's see what okay let me remove this from the stand all right you can see that there is a screw here right so now let me connect this and see how it gets connected okay so i messed it up a bit we have to first connect the screws like this and even the third piece goes in here but now that's not coming out i'll try to put it in like this itself let's see how it goes
okay we have connected both this different screws and the board now so piece one two and three all are connected now we'll have to um, you know connect it in the wall and uh, then let's see how it looks once it is connected now i'll drill the holes in the wall and everything which i may skip in the video so i'll show you directly after drilling the holes how does it look okay so this is a wall hole marking guide which is provided with the unit so we have connected it with the tape on the wall and uh, we have checked with the water level it's uh, kind of in the middle so now let's go ahead and mark the places where we have to drill the hole so this is a fastener rod that we have to uh, you know put it in the wall but before that we have to put this uh, fastener bracket okay so we have to drill a hole of a width which will you know uh, allow us to put this bracket into the wall okay. so let me mark the holes first Now we have to drill the holes where we have marked it already. So I'll drill the holes and then I'll continue with the video. Okay, so I have drilled five holes here and I have put the bracket in. Now I'll be putting the fastener rod and then I'll connect the table. Okay, so I have connected the bottom part and this is how it looks uh, after installing. And this is what it will look before, uh, you know, putting the wooden slabs in so i'll just put one more slab in here and then i'll show how it looks as a overall set okay so this is how it looks you know after installing all the parts in the set and it's look it looks good but it's not sturdy enough because if you see then the screw and everything are not very uh, you know it's not very strong it's a bit flimsy but you can it it can hold a weight of up to 4 kg but not more than that so i'll just connect the tv now and see overall how it looks okay so this is how it looks once everything is connected nice and compact the only thing is it need it cannot hold more weight so for decoration you can keep uh, some showpiece over here and you it, it can support your router and dvd player or set top box but it may not be able to hold more than that that's it for today guys so uh, i hope you have enjoyed watching the video if you like the video then please hit the like button and uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you have really enjoyed the video so that i can make more such awesome videos thank you for watching have a great day